and you're here with me and my man. Hello! And tonight, there's been some controversy about that, but tonight <laughs> we are going to show you how to make <laughs> a vegetarian lasagna. Yum, 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 yum. Mm -mm -mm. It is predominantly a lentil lasagna, but uh, with but the vegetables. I thought you were going to say it's predominantly a vegetarian lasagna. And it's it's got, definitely it's got, a vegetarian it's lasagna. It's predominantly no vegetables, meat. yeah. No <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, veg, lentils, tomato sauce, white sauce, pasta sheets. Yum, I yum, yum. I don't know why I do that. It's a new thing for pasta sheets. Mm -hmm. Oh. Pasta sheets. So, as always, let's go down to, to the ingredients. ingredients. So, first, we have our mushrooms, That's all in a nice little punnet. Well, I don't know why you're arranging them that way around, but there, no, let's stop it. Mushrooms, we've got. Then, we have the normal onion and garlic. Just, just juggling the, juggling the garlic. Oh, that's all nice. Isn't it? Then we come to peppers and carrot. Yum, yum, yum. All good to go in the sauce. Moving on, we have milk. This is all for the white sauce. Butter. Oh, I don't know. No. <laughs> and I'm not flour. Do it with the flour. <laughs> flour yeah. everywhere. And we've got this white sauce recipe on his channel for you to look at. Then some tomato puree. Lovely. Some cheese that's going to get grated on the top once it's all assembled. Then we're going to a bit of the saucy stuff that's going to be used. So we've got some, what herbs that? Oregano. I, I can't see it if you lift it above camera, oh, can I? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, yeah. Oregano, yeah, or oregano. oregano. Yeah, then we've got green lentils. Oh, no, green lentils. lentils. You don't say lentils, you do. Oh, yeah. No, you lift it, you green just lentils. not. Yeah, green lentils. Then some lovely chopped tomatoes. Yeah. Yep. Then some vegetable stock cubes that are moving about. And tapping again, She's doing her ASMR thing, and then just for the cooking, some oh, this extra, be interesting. extra virgin. Oh dear me! Why do you do these things? Oh, Olive oil, balsamic vinegar to add a little bit of sweetness and sharpness, and a little bit of red wine that will reduce just to give the sauce a little bit of body. And that's a Malbec red wine, and an amazing. Disney topper. Look at that. How cute. So let's just look at the ingredients again. Right, oh, oh, sorry, I haven't finished. Salt and pepper. And they're all important. Lasagna sheets. Woo! Right, so there's the ingredients. And then the next thing we'll do is get on to prepping them. Right. Time to start prepping the ingredients as they say. So if you want to come down here, we're gonna get them all nicely chopped up. Right, so first thing I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with as onions, and we like our veg, well, chunky, but not too much for this. So I'm just going to put them into nice little, nice little, oh, oh, nice little flying about chunks like that. Why oh, does it always? Oh. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Why I'm cursed? Last few times I've prepared everything's just blown about everywhere. Right, well. let's try again. One, two, three, four. So you just sort of—I don't actually know what the phrase is. You're not slicing them. What are you doing? You're no. Chopping. You're yeah. just chopping. Yeah, just chopping. They're, they're just... small, but they're not yeah. too small. Just, just and chopped. They're not too chunky. Yeah. Just chop roughly. I mean, you can if you want. If you want to do it finer, you can go this way just to make it a little bit finer. I can't see because your fingers are. Oh, there. sorry. I'll do it on the next one. But does it matter? Does it matter how the onion is chopped? Well, you want to. Or plopped onto the worktop. Well, plopping onto the worktop is always something that you really want to do. Yeah. 
I always do it. Yeah. Well, what you don't want, you don't want really, really big pieces. Because if you get really, really big pieces, then the amount of time it's going to be, do you know, like cooking, they'll probably still be a little bit raw. So you just want to make sure that they're a nice size. I mean, some people take time to really, really shred it. You know, like shred it fine. Look at that, it's just all fell. Uh, but, you know, I just like... Like little chunky pieces like that. And I think that, that's fine because they'll cook off nice late in the sauce. So I'm just putting it onto this plate. Okay. Well, you're following me. And then pepper wise, again, just take the top off. Cutting off. Just going to take the little bit of the middle out. The pith. Oh, oh, is that, oh, is that what we call it? The pith. That's what I'm calling it today. I thought pith were on oranges. Yeah, but that's a, a similar thing though, isn't it? It's that sort of membrane-y thing inside. Membrane-y thing. I'm calling it pith today. You're, you're calling it pith today. Take the pith. Take the pith. Is that like taking the fifth, but different? Mm. Yeah, and then with this, again, roughly. Oh, smell lovely. Round about same size as my onions, because these are all going to get cooked, cooked together. I personally, when I do it, like to chop, I slice the peppers like that and then chop them into three like you've just actually done. Yeah. Because I think that's big enough and small enough at the same time. Big enough and small enough. Yeah, so what I'm trying to say is it's the right actual size. Oh, so what you're trying to say is I've done it right. I, it right. I, wow, I've actually got something right. Wow. Onions, I would um, chop in half and then slice oh, you slice. into fours and then chop the other way into fours again and that gives me the correct size that I'm going to want because I can't chop small. Yeah, I can, so, I can chop yeah, a lot smaller than I this. I can't chop small. No, but... And I have no desire to chop small because... <laughs> Don't tell me that's something else that offends you, small offends chopping. Me. Small chopping. Small chopping. Yeah, if it's there... It should be seen. There it should be seen. Now, yeah. mushrooms. They may look quite a lot of mushrooms here, but they will cook down to virtually, uh, you know, nothing. Oh, that carrot's pointing to the mushrooms. Aren't that carrot's pointing to the mushrooms. Now, you're not gonna. I'm not gonna chop all these <clears throat> while we're filming this. So I'm gonna chop some room just to show you how I do it. There's many ways that you can chop it. You can either just go straight. Like that, just do them. Some people like to break the stalks off, then they chop them in half, and then just to make it into a little fine dice. Mm. And then you've got the, just the top of the mushroom left. Again, some people like to chop that in half like that, and then go that way around. Oh, weird. Yeah, just, just what I've seen, but basically, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, you can even chop them in rounds. I best Don't not do rounds. Do rounds. Do rounds. rounds. Don't no. do rounds. And I'm just going to interject by saying that my preference is to slice the whole mushroom because if I want mushrooms, I want them to look what? like a mushroom slice. What, like that? With the stalk. Like a mushroom slice with the stalk. Like so, a mushroom slice with the stalk. So I've just chopped, as you can see, no, come over not. here. Yeah. Oops, over there. I've just chopped half for him. I'm not going to do them all. Uh, because I'll finish them off in a bit. And then next bit, carrot, top and tail. And then I'm just going to bring this over here because I've just been collecting a little bit. These little peelers are absolutely brilliant. They Saves are. so much time. But just watch your fingers because the first time I use one, I slice the skin off. Yeah. My finger. Yeah. But she's quite accident prone. I am. But it is quite, it's quite therapeutic as well. Do, 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 do. It is actually. Yeah, do, as long do, as it's do. not a sweet potato, or, no, not a sweet potato, butternut squash, they're um, not therapeutic mm, Yeah, anyway. butternut squash is an evil. Or yeah, they're evil to do. So that's, that's that. And then with this carrot, I'm just going to chop that in half. I'm going to chop, so you can just see. Chop in half again. And with this, you don't want to have it too big. Because if you have it too big, then carrot does take some time, a little bit of time to cook. So just... Mind 
mind your fingers. My, my fingers are fine. I was saying, mind your fingers. Mine would be. Again. And that's why I don't do the chopping. Why, why is that? Because the... Of the what? Chopped fingers. So the chopped fingers. Mm. Again. If you've noticed, I brought the carrot up into several pieces because I just, me personally, I just find it then easier to, you know, like to handle rather than one big giant carrot. Yeah. So you're aiming for a, a sort of similar size to the onion? Yeah, yeah, similar yeah. size to the onion so that everything will cook pretty much evenly. All right, so I'm just going to move that. And then we've got we've got four cloves of garlic there just going to pop this back onto here just always little prep food and then again i'm not going to chop all of these at once changing knives now just get rid of that little bit of spillage that uh, i didn't do well it was no, clearly they? you aliens 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 did it That's nothing it. to do with me so with the garlic now, if you're going to leave this on long, you could just go into little fine shapes like that mm. because that will like cook down, it'll be no problem. But I just like to, with this, just slice it along that way. And then I'm going to come down. Don't know if you can see, so it's a bit difficult with my fingers in there. And then just little slivers and then sometimes with that little last bit so that's just chopping the chopping the garlic up into little tiny pieces and if you want to get any tinier this is where you come in with your big knife mm, and be all chefy and be all yeah be all chefy if you wanted it a little bit tinier if I wanted to be a little bit tinier, I'd <laughs> ask you to do it. Yeah, you asked me to do it. So that's if you want to just get it a little bit finer, you can just chop it, chop it up like that. But generally, that other size that I did, it would be fine just to like go in and cook off and, you know, like get rid of the rawness. So there's the uh, little bit of chopping done. And uh, the next bit is... We're going to get over, get the uh, sauce, that's it. <laughs> get, the, get the base of the sauce done. Forgot then. Uh, and then we'll start getting the white sauce together, assembly it and get it in the oven. So let's get over there. Right, so we are now ready over at the hob to start on the vegetable bolognese which is what you need to make a vegetable lasagna. <laughs> the pan... Oh. Oh. oh! Ding, ding! Ding, ding! Ding, ding! The pan has been heated, so I've popped it on to seven. Right. On our hob, not <laughs> seven and a half. Oh, I'll shut up. Um, and I'm now just going to glug. Am I coming in there now? Is a phrase... I'm just doing this one. All right, glug. Um, the olive oil in. Right, I'm so coming in for glugging time. Sort of... Um, Mm. Look. Two tablespoons full. There we go. It's precise. Precise measurements. measurements, as always, from us. As always. Now, me personally, you can do this different. Yeah. You can soften your onions and garlic first if you want. I don't bother because. Do, do you think the uh, the mushrooms might overcrowd the pan if you put it all in at once, or doesn't that matter? It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to you. Right. Uh, well, as you can see. It's all going in. All going in at once. Now usually, don't, don't things cook at different times or? Let's turn that down. Well, what I, yeah, they do. So you could put your onions and garlic in first, but the, the worry is that the garlic's gonna burn and then you can't bring it back from that because it adds a sort of bitterness to your dish 
Is it does does the veg release a bit of water then? Is that so the veg releases water, the onions yeah. in particular will soften down and the did I just say onions or mushrooms? I said onions. Oh, the onions will soften down. The onions will soften down <laughs> and release water as will the carrots and the peppers. But the mushrooms will just sort of They just drink, don't they? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. start drinking. For me, Adding them all together, and I'm not a professional chef by any means, but I like things simple. And this is nothing more simple than just chucking it all in at once. <laughs> yeah. And also, the mushrooms will then take on all the flavours from the very beginning. Ah. And this is how I tend to cook anything that involves onion, garlic, and other vegetables. Yeah. Chuck it straight in, all together. <laughs> I know you don't always do it like that. There's, yeah, there's, yeah. there's, there's exceptions to the rule. Yeah, well, you, you don't realise, but obviously oh, I do. No. Yeah. So you can see now that no, the, just coming up a bit closer. the mushrooms, you can hear it sizzling away, but it's not burning. So all we're doing is trying to soften the veg all of it at once. Now, it's not too hot so that the garlic will burn, but as you can see the mushrooms yeah. are already starting to shrink, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I would say is, if you're going to do this, do it all in one go, right? Okay. Oh yeah, because then it, it, it keeps stirring. Yeah. So you don't get, you don't want it to stick. Is this the, stick, yeah. is this the initial bit? Do you keep it on this higher heat, or do yeah. you lower it down in a bit? No, it will be lowered down. So it's just for this initial bit, and it's only on, well, it's on six and a half, but you can see that little dot down. Oh, there. no, we're not going on to dot gate. And if it starts to stick, I've said this before, but don't add more oil. No, that's bad. Add some hot water from the kettle, a splash, just to stop it sticking. Anyway, this isn't sticking, so we're all right at the minute. Yeah, because generally... And just keep taking it from the sides, moving it around. Yeah, so you said generally like, water will start releasing from veg soon, won't yeah, it? So, so that's, that's where you get your natural so your natural water. Your natural from. water. But look look the mushrooms they've just Oh I've oh, just got the hit. Oh I got yeah. a good 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 sniff of vision then. She's in again stop but, it and you can smell it's not burning it smells really fresh you can pick up I mean, I can, even though I ain't got my nose in, I can smell the All peppers, the, the, the mushroom, you know, the a little slight on the onion, not much on the garlic, but it's the, it's the peppers and mushrooms that well, are that's prominent. The thing. What you don't want is your garlic to cook too fast. So this is perfect because it's coating everything. And because it's so small, it's coating every other veg. Yep. It's not just burning with your onion. Get me. Look at, at you. Six. I know. <laughs> at this point, I'm going to put in some dried herbs. I'm just going to turn that five to six now. Right, now you're going to switch off a little bit more, though. I've got you to put your dried herbs with your well, with, with tomato sauce. No, no, any, no, reason, no, no. any reason why now? Because it cooks much better. It's all about flavour. Levels and layering of flavour. So, I'm just going to put in... Well, as well as just chucking it all in a pan at once, then. Yeah, that's not, <laughs> is that, that's not that's layering, is that layer. layering every flavour? That were a layer then? That was it. That was there. a big brick. Yeah. So anyway, Go on. a tablespoon of oregano. Mm. I say as oregano because we're massive fans of a few of men. And that's why it, it gets set in there quite a lot. A dime bag of oregano. A dime bag of oregano. It's the it. American way to say yeah. it. They'd probably say it if you were to yeah. talk about oregano in any other film. But now you can listen to that Ooh. and it stops. Oh, I've just got the smell of herbs. It, it stopped that sizzling momentarily. It has, it has, it has it? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm saying you're learning. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm learning. Stick your nose in there and no, that smells amazing. In. So we're still on six. We're just keeping it moving. Well, we've Nothing's been going, been going about five minutes a minute, haven't we? Yeah, it's not sticking. It's perfect. Then I'm going to grate. I'm not going to grate. Not I'm going to grind. It begins with a G. Yeah. It's got an R, it's second letter. See? Just going to keep grinding. 
I'm gonna say. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Again, it all depends on how your grinder like releases pepper, but yeah. again, with a lot of things, it's it's to taste. And some salt. I've got a few shakes of salt. Probably about half a teaspoon we've got in there, I'd say. Oh, that means I need more. No, I'm just saying. There we go. But you, but eat. you're just, you're just later. You season later that's again. It. That's it. Let me just have a quick look in there. Mm. Oh, just move your arms up and get in. Oh, that's that's me. Oh, that's me with shadow. Ah, the look. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Right. So, does that now go to sweat for about ten minutes? I would say yes. What's, what type, what low, low heat, lid it on, lid off? Down, I would turn it down to... Taking it down to three on air, which is like a, a low sheet. three, and then I will just stick... Oh, a bit noisy today. Stick the lid on for five, ten minutes. Remind me about ten minutes. You just have to keep checking these things, don't you? Yeah. Just have to but keep checking gonna, it. I'm coming back up to you now. Burn. It's not going to burn. It's not going to burn. <laughs> it's on too low heat. So we'll check after 10 minutes. Yeah. See how we go. Yep. And in the meantime, at this point, uh, we will get making the white sauce. So the ingredients are all there ready for the white sauce. And as I say, there's a video on our website on how to do this. And then we'll come back when that's all done and the veg is all sweated off. So the veg oh, has been in. softening for 10 minutes and it looks and smells great. You can tell the difference, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, coming back out again. So yeah. now I have I've taken it off while I heat up oh, the yeah. ring. I'm looking at you and you're looking down oh, there. Sorry. All right. <laughs> while I heat up the ring. <laughs> Ta -da! Because now, it's going to start sizzling. What I'm going to do is I'll come back in then. The red, sorry, are you still looking at me? Yeah. The red wine. With Mickey. Mickey Mouse red wine. So this is a small glass of red wine. Believe me, I've tested many a size of wine. Yes. This is a small glass. So you want it, you want the heat to be high. So I put it onto eight. Uh, That's what I've got sure. there. Eight, she's not lying. Because That's like Jimmy Nail. Oh. <laughs> oh. She's not lying. Sorry. Because it, I might turn it up to nine, but um, yeah, what we want from the wine is the flavours to be absorbed. Oops, just turned, turned it off completely off. Oh, oh epic there. fail! Now she's counting it. Look, I'll show you. Epic fail. There we go. But the wine has to be absorbed, so what we're waiting for is it to disappear. Yeah, but it, it, it won't take long, will it? it, once, it long, no. once it goes on. Yeah, that's it. Now, why? Can I ask a question? Why? Why do you let it get all absorbed in the juice? Because if you don't, then all you're going to taste is alcohol. You're not you're not flavouring the the veg or the all meat right. or anything. You're I'm just back up on you, love. Tasting raw alcohol and. Unless you're having a glass of wine, it's not what you want in, in your food. You just... <laughs> right. yeah. It's a bit smoky, isn't it? It's a bit smoky. A bit smoky. So, I was going to say, this is a vegetarian lasagna, as I've said, but... You oh, it's bubbling now. Dirty. Yeah, it is. I'm going to A lang. A lang? What's a lang? You don't have to use these particular veg. It's whatever you like. Uh, yeah. We're using lentils because... We like lentils, mushrooms, I love mushrooms, yeah. peppers, but you could do it with just anything with you like. Fed. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I wouldn't use potatoes, let's <laughs> no, say, no, or no. sprouts. <laughs> oh, not sprout, I've never heard that new thing. Sprout, 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 sprout lasagna. That's really nice. <laughs> sprout know. lasagna. Oh dear. Oh, sprout lasagna. Cauliflower, it's up to you. <laughs> cauliflower cauliflower lasagna. Really oh, yeah, that's that. Sprout. that, that, that Cauliflower and salad, <laughs> give it a go. Just use <laughs> the ingredients for the tomato base. Yeah, aubergine, aubergine would be nice in there. Aubergine, courgette, yes. yeah, aubergine, yeah. courgette. Are we nearly done on this bit? Mushroom. Yeah. That's, that's come down by about. It's yeah. quite steamy. It's, yeah. now, it's now making it nice and a 
thick so you can tell it's reduced. Yeah, can you lift just lift it off pan so I can have a little look in? Lift it off pan, is it? Lift it off pan, let me lift it off. Yeah. yeah. It's nice and reduced. Yeah. It's still not quite quite there, but you can where we want it, but there we go. I'm getting closer. Well, I can't see it. That's the no, that's it. This is, <laughs> there's no Sprouts point looking at it. Sprouts from in there. It yeah, yeah. Completely that, that, that good old sprout lasagna. Sprout lasagna. Yeah. Uh, I'd want to try next Christmas. I know we are never trying sprout lasagna. Just like that's a disclaimer. Am I? No, oh, no, it's just not going to work. Not going to work at that's all. Right. So while it's like now bubbling away, I'm going to add in the balsamic vinegar. Now this is just to give it a bit of it and a sharpness. So I'm about a tablespoon, isn't it? About a tablespoon. I'll measure it then. There we go. Oh, oh, oh she's measuring it. We usually just uh, portrait. Yeah. You can't see it's anything true. here apart from steam. Yeah. Anyway, if you want a nice facial, yeah, this is the recipe. Now, would you start to turn it down I now? Turn it down because, yeah, yeah, otherwise, it will start to catch, it'll start to burn, and then everything will just go into a bit of a bit of a mosh. Oh, let's have a look. It's now looking, Ooh, it it's looks quite like... dark, but that's just because of the balsamic that we just added. Yeah, nice and smell. me. Oh, there she goes. Really good facial, yeah, really good facial. Two things in one, so I'm turning it down a bit more. We're taking it right down now because we've got it. What, what are you going to add next Ooh. then? This is burning there. Is it tomatoes or tomato puree? Next will be tomatoes. Alright, so I'll just come in here and I'll I'll what? try to open this can one handed while what? holding the oh, oh, No, I think you'll best do that. I nearly spilled yeah. it everywhere. Neil had a major disaster. So it's still Ah, so you just put your hand straight in front of the camera. Well, You're not learning to put it in the other way, are you? No, no. Oh, we still there we go. And that instantly has yeah. quietened it down. I don't even know if that's quite quietened. Quietened. Quieter. Oh, anyway. no. Peace and quiet. Peace yeah. and quiet. She's not shutting up there, though. Peace and quiet. There we go. Oh. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely. So it's now on one and a half. One and a half. So really not. So now I'm going to need the lentils. lentils. Shall, shall I put these in? Yes, please, because I'll only get told off for... Handy from the camera. Oh. No. So they've been rinsed and drained. There we go, straight in. A few that didn't make it there. Well, them few. That's it, they, they escaped. They escaped. I'm just coming in at strange angles because I've got shadows because it's night again, as always. Right, so now I've got to ask a question Is that enough chopped tomatoes? No, we're going to need the other tin. Right. So it's always a case of don't add it all. Are you going to put that full tin in or just a little I'm bit? I'm going to see. I'm just going to oh, plop half of it. And tomato puree, do you need that yet? Yeah, tomato puree. Because okay. this will it'll start to loosen up a little bit, won't it, once it starts cooking? Yeah, so you don't want to put too much in at one at first in case it goes too watery, because you don't want it watery for lasagna. How many, oh. how many of these are you putting in? I'm putting. There we go, everything's just, that's one. That can count. Two. I'm going to do three. Oops. Three perfectly measured. There we go, plop. Plops of tomato, tomato puree. puree. There we go. Tablespoon plops. Tablespoon plops. Uh, would, would you add any more tomatoes in at the minute or would you just leave it and see what it's like? I'd leave it because it doesn't need to be too runny. That's the, the thing is it doesn't need to be too runny because in lasagna... Oh, coming up. Oh, she's talking. I've got to it, come. It's then just going to flood it and it'll be all soggy. Ah, right. don't want. Now, we need the vegetable sock cube. I'm coming... Why are you re <laughs> Well, close up! Ah. And then we can stir that in. Look at that. And what I would say is... Oh, it's gone in. But just if... Mm, Come on, go on, run off, run off. I know exactly what she's doing. Rather than using the tomatoes... She's, she's rinsed out the I'm tin. Rinsing, oh, I'm doing it from this yeah. angle. Well... There we go. And then... 
the stock cube will dissolve, giving the extra seasoning. Yes. Because, and it will dissolve, it's not going to stay like that big square. No. Throughout. Don't like big squares. I don't like squares. Round. But, so but to me, I, I must I say. No, wait, we won't put, yeah. don't do round gate. But that is looking like, I think myself, that looks like really good consistency. And that's be like a tin and a half of chopped tomatoes and yeah. two tins of uh, lentils. Mm. Yeah. And always thing is as well, if you ever make too much and it won't fit in any of your dishes or anything, don't worry about it. Because you can always save the bit that's left over, cook some pasta up, mix it in and have a nice little, uh, you know, like little pasta dish. Or you could freeze it. For any future little pasta dishes that you want to make. Yeah. It freezes perfectly well because it's just veg. So, so I'm just going to pop that up to two. So what we're going to do now then? How long do we uh, leave and that for? I'm, I'm, I'm on you leave again. This for 20 minutes now. 20 minutes at number 20 two. 20 minutes. And at that point, if we need any more tomatoes, we can add them. She's in. just have you seen how she's talking to pan, not I'm talking, talking to, to pan. she's not talking to Maybe camera. Yeah. Oh look, she's back. Oh, she's back in the room. 20 more. 20 minutes on our and, and the low number two with the lid on. Do you have to keep stirring it? Stir it occasionally. Yep. You don't have to keep stirring it as I have been doing, but every so often yep. stir it because it just mixes nicely. And there we go. We will check it in 20 minutes. And then hopefully everything will be ready and then we'll start assembling and then get it in the oven. She, she likes to look at her, she just likes, just likes tapping things. Like tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap. Right, so we, uh, we are back at the uh, the hob. Everything's been cooking nicely for, we're about 20, 25 minutes. We've had the sauce on. Yeah, 20 yeah. minutes. So come on, right. have a look at it. Are we ready? Ooh. So if you look at that, we've got a good picture. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna come in this way. You oh, can that see looks... it's a nice consistency because you don't want it too runny and you don't want it too stodgy. We've had a we did have a little cheeky little taste before and it, oh it's uh, it's very very nice. And then here I've got the white sauce all prepped. So now what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start layering it. If you can come over to this this tin and try not to get any shadows on difficult, I know. Uh, it's a tin, it's not a tin, it's a dish. It's not a tin. It's a dish. It's so, a dish. this is how I layer it. However you want to layer it. Am I just looking at this dish? You're looking at this you're dish. Talking. You're looking at this dish, yeah. So, it's up to you how you layer things, but this is our, how we like to do it. So, I'm just going to put one in there, two, and then give it a little shake. Just to ease it do you know what might look nice in there? What? Some sprouts. <laughs> We're not putting sprouts in. Right, so got me trusty scissors. Because as you can see, that doesn't quite fit in. So I'm just going to trim the little corners off. Just what I do. You don't have to, you can just ram it in. And then put that down in there. It just raises up a little bit. Then I'm going to add, let me just get rid of that, two cents. I'm going to add in a nice little layer of white sauce. Squidge that around. Now, if you've watched many of our videos, you might think we're obsessed with white sauce. <laughs> we're, we're not. No. It's just an unfortunate coincidence. That everything seems to have. A white sauce. Yeah. Let's look at that. There's a little bit more trimming on that one. Now, if you look over to the side, you'll see there is some dried pasta sheets. Oh, look at my sleeve. Yeah. That's a nice lazy sleeve, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, just, at the just end of it. You, just what you need on a food video, a nice lazy sleeve. It's right. some dried, I'm sorry. Yeah, dried pasta. Now. You told me to look over there. Yeah. So we have used dried pasta before. Now the problem with it is, as you can see, it don't quite fit. And then when you try to trim it, that happens. You missed all that, didn't you? You weren't even watching me trimming, were you? 
I won't now. No, can we come over here again then? So, honestly, so you try to trim it. The cat was doing some, oh, that's all. Yeah, all oh, that happens. Yeah, it just shatters. Yeah. It's rubbish. So if you, oh. haven't, if you haven't got a dish, oh. What I'm gonna, oh, okay. Yeah, shadow. What I'm going to say is, if you want to use this dried pasta sheets, cook them first. It's easier to put them in the dish if you're doing lasagna. Cook them to the instructions on the box, obviously, I don't know what they are. And then you can trim them like you can. Yeah. We've, the fresh pasta yeah. sheets. We've, we've done it before where we've, uh, you know, like cooked it just in a frying pan with some water, just sheet by sheet, put it to one side. Uh, what I wouldn't say do is cook about three or four on the trot if you're doing the dried one because it will stick together. Yeah. So again, another another couple of pieces. It doesn't matter if the white couple sauce. Of pieces. Couple of pieces. Couple of pieces. Couple of ladles of the the mixture bolognese. the bolognese mixture i think you've been drinking this in a bottle of wine no no i haven't no no now you can see we've still got quite a lot left this is what mm. i said earlier so that can be saved frozen you know for another time or if you're doing more more people if you're having a party coming around you can just do another dish and or get it done. if you've got a bigger dish yeah we're just doing it in this one. This is our go-to go to dish. Meal for three. Oh, yeah, three. What's it, what is it for? It just depends how hungry you are, really. Yeah, there's always one of us that's much more hungry than yeah, yeah. the two of us. I'm just going to interject here because that's offending me. And we know I don't like to be offended. No. There we go. Again, people put a lot more pasta sheets on. I just generally go for, for the three. That's even the same if I'm doing a, you know, like a normal, you know, like a normal lasagna, not a veggie one. With a normal. Normal. How dare you say that veggie's not normal? All oh, right. That's all right. All right. With a, a meat lasagna. Let me oh, get that vegetarian. Right. Let me get that correct. Right. With, vegetarian food. With yeah, yeah. It is very. Uh, vegetables are very underrated. They are. Right. So that's that bit's on there. Next bit, just to finish it off. Can I just ask, so these pasta sheets that we're left with now, well. Yeah, these pasta sheets we're left with. We're just gonna freeze them. We're just gonna freeze them. I'm just gonna say, we don't want them to go to waste. No, so we're just gonna freeze them. And now, now I'm just coming with oh, some. Oh, hard ones here. No, no. It's just gonna dance into it. Yeah. Are you sure you haven't been drinking wine? No. <clears throat> no. So we're just coming on with I some. I need the fifth on that question. Yeah, so. Some cheese on the top, some uh, Grand Padano, is it? We, we, we never get pronunciation right. But don't use Parmesan. Yeah. I'm sure we've said this before, but it's not meant as a topping, it's... Yeah. But lots and lots of cheese on there. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, and don't... And it gets a little bit messy, but don't worry about that. It gets very messy, yeah. Right. So have a, have a little look at that. And then without the uh, without the shadow on, oh, a little bit of zoom. And so the next time you will see that is when it, it will comes be golden and bubbly, and oh, comes out of the oven, beautiful. golden, bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Right, so we're popping it in on gas mark 180. We're not on gas mark. No, it's no gas mark. Fan oven 180. Take fan that oven. wine off in. Fan oven 180. And then, as I say, we and always say. Long? Uh, I'd say about 20 minutes, have a check, see if it needs spinning round. If it needs to go in a little bit longer, it's just until it's golden. So, in it goes. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway. <laughs> Nutter, <laughs> you're not Rocky Lobster Claws. Ooh. <laughs> Ivan Drago. Come on. So. What happened? Yeah, we're here, we're here to get it. The lasagna has been in for 20 minutes. And then we checked it, and then we put the temperature up to 200. What's with your voice? Oven. I don't know. I'm <laughs> Why do you keep bending down? <laughs> 200. Oh, to 200. For another 10 minutes so that it would brown and bubble. 
Brown and bubble. So, brown and bubble. Go on, open the door. Hello. I'm not going to, as always, not going to look at it. Come on, get it out and let's have a look. Yeah. There's a bloody hell. Let's go to a spa. I don't know if I can just stand here. Right, so. Oh, that looks good. And uh, am I uh, right? you're going to have to not delay going oh. down to it because it's, oh, it's bubbling. It's, it's bubbling. delicious. Oh, ooh, look ooh, at, ooh, look ooh, at ooh, that ooh, golden oh, top. That looks amazing. Oh, wow. I'm just coming in. I'm just coming around now. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Don't take too long because I'm going to drop it in a bit. No, you're not going to drop it. Well, oh, it's red look off. at that. Seven. Right. So that is uh, all done and dusted. Can't wait to eat this tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're hungry. We're hungry. So, there we go. That's our vegetable lasagna. Hope you enjoyed watching. Until next time, see you soon. Yeah.